Hi again. Um, this is Tetris for the Game Boy. Um, on the arcade machine. <laughs> uh, yeah, fond memories of this game. Um, being a uh, uh, handheld game of choice. Um, it basically sold the Game Boy by the bucket loads. Um, I think it still holds up pretty well in today's standards because um, it's such a universal concept in terms of stacking up the blocks and then getting rid of it um, either singly, doubly, triply or by Tetris. Um, the music is very memorable in this game. Um, as you can hear, like it's the um, original Tetris um, music. And you, you can also change different music if you like, so which is great because then you won't get bored of it. But yeah, the original music still pulls a few heartstrings. Um, yeah, so it's, it's looks ancient, but um, the gameplay is still the same uh, without fancy sort of power up blocks or. Uh, clearing blocks and there's no characters killing each other in the background so in a way it's, it's a very green game um, and quite uh, easily played by people of all ages so um, there shouldn't be a problem for access for the younger players or players that are not supposed to play find the games I suppose um, I think it came packed in with the Nintendo Game Boy when you first bought, uh, bought it and one of the um, great thing about this game is that it supports um, Game Boy Link I I presume it's um, when, when you get two Game Boys linked together with a cable I haven't really um, tried that myself but um, yeah the uh, gameplay is, is uh, very competitive when you have two Game Boy players um, playing um, Tetris um, and I think a lot of the brick games that came out uh, in the mid 90s basically copied the concept and then sold it as a um, just, just a digital one of those LCD games. And I still remember, like back in Malaysia, like the, there was nothing else to do when I was with my cousins and stuff. So I used to whip that out and start wrecking up some blocks. The only problem with those games is that. Um, the LCD screen would usually fade in and out, so you, you think you might have a piece somewhere, but it's actually not there. So yeah, you get wiped out pretty quickly. And also, when the game speeds up, it's just a blur because um it, the the, the um, LCD just cannot keep up. Um, game Boy version suffers a bit of that as well, and. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you will still remember Mario World when it first came out for the Game Boy, and that that was a blur fest. So you just have to um, not run too fast, otherwise you just can't catch up with the gameplay. Um, but yeah, Tetris holds up pretty well um, in terms of gameplay and the suitability for the LCD. I think dot matrix type on the on the Game Boy. Um, Oh, oh well, that's me done. Um, yeah, and if you ever sort of um, feel bored, I, I recommend this game on the on the go, and you definitely won't feel bored. Um, catch you soon. Bye.